Hey YouTube, hope y'all are doing awesome. Thanks for checking this video out. As you see here, we have the McFarlane DC Multiverse, the Collect Build Merciless Wave. We've got uh, Infected Superman, uh, Dark Knight's Batman, the Batman Who Laughs, with wings because he was in the previous wave of the little Batmobile that came with the uh, blue suit uh, or the blue Nightwing and Batgirl. And we've got uh, Infected Robin here of Earth Negative 22. So I have a shelf of boxes and figures of which eventually I'll get to opening. So I figured, fuck it, let's just put all these four together and let's do a whole complete unboxing of all four of them. And let's complete uh, Merciless and put them together. So from what I remember, Joker infected Shazam. Shazam started spreading it somewhere along the lines. Batman kills Joker, which Joker then releases some type of little toxin that Batman inhales, and Bruce Wayne eventually becomes the Batman who laughs. And somewhere in Earth 12, negative 12 something, uh, Batman is actually Merciless, who inherits the powers of Ares. He's also in a league with uh, other uh, Bruce Waynes from other realities and uh, different worlds, so they all came together, but apparently, uh, but uh, obviously they're evil. They're not. They're not good. So, yeah. So, all right, cool. I'm excited to bust them out. And if you have the legs, careful because I put my finger here. First thing, I stabbed myself with the damn uh, point there. So, careful. All right, here the figures out of the box, posed out, kind of ready for a little quick review. And the pieces of the Merciless Collect Build figure right up in the center. Let's take a closer look. Cool. Awesome. So there you go. Superman Punch, Infected Punch. Pose is pretty cool. And that is one big Batman. I mean, it's a cool Batman, but he's just it's an oversized Batman. This Batman who laughs is fucking sick. I thought, I, now this is a figure I thought I wasn't going to like, but man, it is cool. The wings were much more impressive than I thought. All right, let's put this build a figure together. But before we do get into the Build-A-Figure, each character, of course, if you have already picked up a few of these figures, they all come with their own little backdrop. And in the backdrop, you've got each one comes with their own figure stand, which is a black circle. And they always use the trading card. They use the same painting or the portrait or the art that's on the box or in the back of the box. So... Batman who look Batman who laughs, not the back of this box. Then the other Dark Knight's metal Batman. You, you get the picture. We'll leave that there. But yeah, as far as articulation, we'll start off with Superman. Now it's awesome. The Superman is pretty cool. He's buff. Infected. Now the face sculpt is real Jokerish. Love that Joker. Real 1990 Keaton kind of uh, Joker effect there. He's got a butterfly joint. Uh, I don't really. Yeah, okay, they kind of work. He does a full 360. Head 360. He doesn't. Uh, yeah, his torso on a on a, on a uh, ball and joint, so that's cool. He does have some. Uh, side to side, a little bit of ab crunch, and his waist also twisted down at the bottom. So he's got two pieces there. Doesn't kick up much, but we all know the articulation with these uh, McFarlane figures. Knees bend pretty well. The top, uh, the top of the knee is a little tight, but there you go. Once you break it in, you're good. No, no thigh swivel, no boot cut, but they do have that angle rotation and the hinge up and down with the toe articulation. Peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Double jointed elbows as well, wrist hinge and articulation, and also Superman here. 
comes with interchangeable hands. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. I really can't focus. That's an infected bugger, that's for fucking sure. So when I say this is a big Batman, he's a pretty, he's a pretty tall, pretty hefty Batman. Watch. Let's scale him out to a couple of other Batman. There he is scaling next to the Grim Knight. Now as you see, there's a substantial height difference and girth to the figure. I was also going to compare him to Nightwing. And even Nightwing is substantially bigger and a larger scaling figure than the Grim Knight. So that's uh, kind of one thing that we've experienced with McFarlane figures. They're not consistent. Whoa. Looks like it was going to fall. Yeah, it was. Hey, stand up, yo. There you go. The scaling of these figures aren't very consistent or too accurate, so to speak. This Batman here comes with two tomahawks, tomahawk axes, and I actually want to try something. Hold up. So I was wondering where I was going to get my fucking Warpath figure. Some damn axes. And these scale amazingly perfect. Man, that is awesome. Fuck yeah. And of course, they don't scale too well because we all know that Warpath here would be about this much bigger to Nightwing. But of course, we have a six inch line scale to a seven inch. Oh, yes. Anyway, I'm going to take that axe from you, if you don't mind. Stand you back up in your spot. Oh, yeah, and you had to knock Superman over, right? So, I'm just going to place this axe right over here in Warpath's other hand. And it went from a merciless review to, uh, I found Warpath some fucking axes. Yeah. Now we're fucking talking. Man, that is awesome. Okay. Back to the figures. So... Those are the accessories that comes with Batman. And again, like I was saying, the Batman who laughs. Fuck, look at that. This is incredible. Shit, it is incredible. Wow. I'm impressed. I like this figure a lot. And I thought I was going to like the one from the... Uh, to like to build the Batmobile. But I haven't opened that one yet. I wanted to get straight into this one because it connects it. It builds an actual figure. And then we have a little Robin here. The uh, shorts don't get in the way. He can kind of move his legs pretty well. He doesn't stand up straight. So you do have to articulate him a little bit to kind of balance off because his knees are bent. He's got that spike in the knee and it's only one peg, single joint. Not bad. Not, I mean, it, it's cool. It works. It's just going to be for home decor and part of one of... Uh, Batman who last little minions there. So, all good. Works well. The articulation for this one is actually cool. It's not bad. Uh, despite his suit being in the way, you can hear clicks. And he'll still twist at the waist. And at the upper torso. So he's got some points in there where you can still adjust so that's really cool single jointed elbows also a little bit of wrist articulation and hinge he's he's uh on that little uh, ball swivel uh the only little thing there's got spacing under the arm there but nonetheless it's actually a pretty decent figure not bad i thought i was gonna really like the robin but no really don't care for the robin it's all right neat figure but 
I'm not like, oh, let me go get three more and make these minions. I didn't think I was going to like the Batman Who Laughs, but... Man, I really like that figure. I do like the Batman, and I do like the Superman. So, all right, let's get to building up. Merciless here. Can we see it over there? Merciless. Merciless. There you are. I'm going to put you together. All right, here we go. So, we'll start with... Start with the legs. There we go. It's cool. It's got... Steady. Uh, steady. It's got a, a steep little peg there, so... Really connects in there. Not like the Marvel Legends that have just like a little stub, right? What was that? Oh, I see what that was. It's part of the butterfly swivel. Uh oh. Alright, I think we can just kind of put that back in there like so. Got the legs in there. Alright, I guess. Cool, man. It's a pretty hefty figure. Let's put the right in, right arm in first. Oh, uh, this one's also popping out. I guess it doesn't matter which one we put in first. So we got the left arm in also. Uh, my phone stopped recording. I uh, had to change out a card, get some more space. Anyway, all right. So, yeah, my camera stopped filming. So here we go. We got the, we got the left. Oh, you see? Look at that. What's going on here? Doesn't matter which one you put in first because we got these little butterfly discs here on the inside of the. There you go, plopped in. Okay, all right. All right, there we go. Cool. Not bad. Just careful there with that. And the gauntlets feel awesome, but yeah, this figure. Figure's already feeling badass. Shoulder pads. One. Two and oh, there we go. Nice a little force in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa, that's merciless. Man, the sculpt is great. The chain. The detail. The armor. Almost has like a Mr. Sinister look. Uh, single jointed knees. Single jointed elbows. Typical wrist hinge and uh, uh, rotation. Doesn't look side to side too much because of the the neck guard there. Has two has two diaphragm, the upper diaphragm and at the waist. Splits out quite a bit. Look at that man! All it does a full Van Dam shit. Oh, and his accessory. This battle sword. Can't even articulate his arm backwards enough to, to make it. See, see, look at that. See where it was at? I'm trying to make it. Ah, oh, and that pops off. Are you guys seeing this? Here you go. That's giving you the insight. It's giving you all the insight you need of what you're going to have to deal with. I'm trying to pose out and put wrestlers together. Take it from me. You're seeing it right here. Oh, 
come on. Oh, there we go. All right. So the foot out here, twist it in. There you go. And of course, facing the wrong way. There you go. Merciless. The rest of the wave. Oh, I was gonna compare the other Batman to this Mattel 80 Years Batman, but I just didn't do it here. Let's put the comparison right there. Shit. I'm gonna compare this merciless builder figure to the other builder figures. But before we do that, here we go. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, substantial figure thickness build. Oh, come on, man. So, yeah, you see substantial figure thickness and build. Yeah, let's size them up to other build -a figures. And I should just realize since he doesn't have quite of a thigh movement because of the connection part, his knee does have that rotation, despite it only having one joint. But yeah, you can tell on the inside. You could probably take this apart here. Uh, no, I don't want to try, but yeah, you could probably... There's like a peg right there on the inside of the knee. And since it's Batman and Ares, I figured it's only appropriate to bring, bring out Gladiator Hulk from the Ragnarok Build-A-Figure. We're going to compare them here to the Hellbat suit. And their the Hellbat suit is a big figure. It's build a figure status in itself. And you can just see how the Merciless is a pretty bigger build a figure in itself. Wow. Pretty awesome, man. Looks really good together. I kind of like the way that looks. Merciless and Molten Man. That's pretty neat. Of course, Molten Man is just this molten lava of steel and other metals all just molten all together. But still, yeah. It's, I, I think I like the way the colors complement each other. I think that's what it is. And lastly, the dude, Bro Thor. One of my favorite build of figures. Regular six inch build a figure, but we've got the God of Thunder Thor, and we've got Batman and Ares put together. Who'd win in a fight? I don't know, it's a tough one, but definitely one I'd like to see. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching. If you haven't picked any of these figures up, I definitely encourage you to do so. They're awesome, they're really neat, especially if you are your Batman fan, McFarlane fan. These figures are actually pretty impressive. So, thanks a lot. Until the next one. Oh